What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim School of Fishing. Class is in session. Oh yeah, I got them nugs. Y'all hippies know what I'm talking about, don't you? Not those kind of nugs. I got a knife called the nugs. Not the hippie kind of nugs? No, not the hippie kind of nugs. It's Savivi kind of nugs. I'm excited because today we are going to take a look at a knife from Savivi. This one was designed by Matthew Werwin. Probably butchered his name. Matthew, I apologize if you see this video. Matthew from Wear Knives, he designed some higher end folders. He's got some really great designs. He designed this one and Savivi manufactured this one. So without further ado, let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look. All right, so the Civivi Nugs comes in this Civivi box here. Now, this one was released middle of July, so it hasn't been out that long. It's got this little Civivi sleeve on it, 10-year anniversary, established 2014. On the side of the box here, we've got some information about our knife. This is the Nugs. It's got green canvas micarta handle, satin finished blade, 14C 28N blade steel on this one. When you open the box, the knife comes in this little pooch here. The pooch has all sorts of various and sundry accoutrements. And there's our knife. So let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, so our overall length here is just under seven and a half inches. We've got a blade here that's just under three and a quarter and a handle length just over four and a quarter, but we're just gonna call it seven and a half and keep it simple because decimals, you know, we, we don't need to get all Dewey decimal system on them. You know what I'm saying? It's freaking seven and a half inches, right? Three and a quarter, four and a quarter. That makes seven and a half. Let's keep it simple. We don't need to talk about thousands and the ten thousandths and the hundreds of ten thousand space of Dewey decimals, okay? It's seven and a half inches. So they're calling this a reverse Tonto. There is no such thing as a reverse Tonto as far as I'm concerned. This is a modified sheep's foot blade. We've got a flat grind on this one. Satin finish, got a forward swedge that I think looks really cool. We've got a pill shaped thumb hole for deployment. Nothing on this side of the blade. Over here on the flat on the other side, We've got wear knives, wee little tiny lettering down there. We've got our blade steel, which is 14C, 28N. So not a lot of billboarding on this one. We've got some yimping on the back of the spine here. I think Civivi does a really good job with their yimping and this is no different. The scales on this one are green canvas micarta. Now they do hit, have this one in black G10. They also have Gaborsha wood and they have a peel ply carbon fiber with a Damascus blade. We've got a T8 torque screw on our pivot. That is a D-shaped captive pivot, so that's nice. We have T8 body screws and we also have T8 clip screws. Now, I've heard some guys say this is a titanium clip. This is not titanium, my friends. Let me set the record straight. I can understand how some people might think that it's titanium because with this bleed, 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 not bleed, because with this bead blasted finish, it does kind of look like titanium, but au contraire, moon frares, that is a steel clip, and that's why that magnet sticks to it. So, steel clip on there, but it, it is a really nice looking clip. I do love the clip on this one. We have a green micarta backspacer, stainless steel liners on this one. Those liners are milled out for, for some weight reduction. We also have a flipper tab on this one with some nice yimping on the back of the flipper tab as well. Let's check the action on this bad boy. Shapow! It is easy to reverse flick. A shapow! Easy to thumb flick. And of course the flipper tab with that nice yimping on there. 
It is also easy to deploy with the flipper. Action is really good. This one is a liner lock. We've got about 35% lock up on there. We do have nice access to the liner lock. We've got some yimping there on the lock bar. This one is running on cage ceramic bearings. Nice and smooth, very drop shutty, outstanding action on this one. Everything is chamfered down nicely. There's no sharp edges, no pokey parts. Fit and finish is very good. Blade centering is dead nut centered. This is about a three and a half finger knife for me. I've seen a lot of other reviews on this one and for most people, this is going to be a full four finger grip, but my hands are about an inch wider than the average dude. I don't really have long fingers. I just have big freaking wide hands. So it's a three and a half finger grip for me. Most people are going to get a full four finger grip. Feels good in a hammer grip. Saber grip feels good. Reverse grip feels good. Gas station stabby stabby grip also feels good. You can feel that stainless steel not titanium, clip a little bit in your hand, but it does not present a hot spot. It's just, you know, it's there, but I don't think it's going to cause any kind of problems with normal use whatsoever. We might as well compare it to the greatest knife of all time. And you guys know what the greatest knife of all time is. It's a $10 Ozark Trail Benchmade clone. Yes, the greatest knife of all time. A game changer. This is going to shake up the industry and change the knife game forever. And it's about the same size. Now, this knife comes in at right about 60 bucks, a little bit under 60 bucks. So I think the price is perfect on this one. Very affordable. I do like 14C 28 in blade steel. I love the blade profile on this one. I think that this was based on his design called the Nugget. If I had to guess, I'm not 100% sure, but that blade profile does look really, really much like his uh, knife that he calls the Nugget. So I'm going with that one, whether I am right or wrong. I love everything about this knife. The price is right. It looks good. It feels good. However, I have one problem with it, and this might not be a problem for other people, but it is a problem for me. I do not like knives that get more narrow as we get toward the butt. I just don't like it. I either like them to be completely neutral all the way across or have an ever so slight swell at the pommel or something, but I don't have any knives that get narrower as you go from the tip to the butt, this one definitely gets narrower, shorter, less tall, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's just uncomfortable in my hand. It doesn't feel like I have a good purchase on it and it wants to roll in my hand when I'm using it. And so for some people that might not be a problem. You might appreciate that very slim design, but for me, that just doesn't work for me. Let's look at the Vostede Acorn for example. Even though this is a much shorter handle, it's much more comfortable to me because, you know, we have that swell at the butt end, the Tempest Microburst, where we have a little bit of swell as we go from the tip to the butt. It's pretty much neutral all the way across. It does swell a little bit here toward the butt end. Those are the kind of handles that I prefer or something like this. We do have a little bit of curve in this one. It's pretty much the same height or width all the way from the bolster to the butt here. There's no swell down here. It's the same height at both, in, both ends, but it doesn't get narrow, narrower, narrower. It doesn't get skinnier. That just doesn't work for me. That's a personal preference thing. Does that mean this is not a good knife? Absolutely, that's not what it means. This is a great knife. I think the price is right. I love the profile on this one. This is a perfectly fine knife and an outstanding design. It's just my personal preference. I I just, I like big butts and I cannot lie. 
So there you go, boys and girls. That is the Savivi Nugs. Not the hippie kind of Nugs, the Savivi kind of Nugs. This has only been out for a little over a month, something like that, maybe six weeks, something like that. I will link it down below if you want to go check it out. Awesome knife, awesome design. I really like this one. It just doesn't work for me because of the handle shape. As always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the Savivi Nugs. Let me know what you think of Skinny Butts. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.